Tesla is about to disrupt the auto industry with three game-changing models. The Model 2, priced as low as $22,000, the RoboTaxi with a potential 400-mile range, and the Tesla van, promising unprecedented cost savings by eliminating driver expenses. With Giga Texas half a million vehicle capacity and revolutionary GigaPress technology, Tesla right now is poised to redefine efficiency and affordability in EVs. How can Tesla ensure success with such an ambitious project? In what ways will the Model 2 align with Tesla's strategic goals and market ambitions? Contrary to previous assumptions that the Model 2 would be produced at Gigafactory Mexico, Elon's clarified that the Mexican facility will only start operating after the official launch of the vehicles. Musk expressed strong optimism about the development of the Model 2, emphasizing that it will be a significant advancement in automotive manufacturing, surpassing the capabilities of any current company. He's also revealed that he's continuously reviewing and refining the production line plans, believing that the Model 2 will bring a revolutionary change in manufacturing that the automotive industry has never seen before, with a completely different and advanced production process. Tesla's actively expanding operations in Berlin, restarting expansion plants at the Shanghai plant, and maintaining growth prospects in Mexico as part of its global strategy. These efforts are expected to drive Model 2 production to over 5 million units, exceeding the initial forecast by 1 million units. However, there is uncertainty regarding the allocation of resources for the Model 2, especially as Tesla recently confirmed the development of Model Y Juniper in China by mid-2024, the Model 3 Highland in Fremont at the beginning of the year, and the Giga Texas plant struggling to meet 2.3 million orders for electric trucks. This creates uncertainty about the allocation of resources for the Model 2 in the near future. With current production demands and other priorities, it remains unclear whether Model 2 can allocate sufficient time and resources to expedite the development of the Model 2, and the first Model 2 might not debut until mid-2026. How will Tesla reach its goal of 5 million units? Reports out of Germany indicate that Tesla intends to begin expanding at Brandenburg in the first half of this year. A company spokesperson disclosed that Elon personally visited the site back in November of last year and announced that the Model 2 will be produced there, in line with Tesla's strategy to hit the European market. With the expansion doubling the size of Phase 1 in Berlin, this facility is projected to have the capacity between 1.5 and 2 million units of Model 2. At the same time in China, Tesla is preparing to advance Phase 3 of the Giga Shanghai plan, focusing on the production of the upcoming $25,000 Tesla vehicle. Currently, the Shanghai plant manufactures Model 3 and Model Y with an annual output of 1.1 million units, and Tesla aims to up this production to 2 million EVs a year. In Jan of last year, Bloomberg reported that the Shanghai plants noted as Tesla's most efficient production site, making each vehicle in only 37 seconds compared to 76 seconds in Texas. Alongside expanding its manufacturing facilities, Tesla is also concentrating on enhancing production technology to boost efficiency and output, with techniques like gigacasting expected to be used for Model 2 and Cybertruck. Gigacasting is a method that employs large machinery to cast substantial sections of the vehicle body into a single piece, thus simplifying the assembly process. Moreover, the approved production expansion at Giga Mexico by the Mexican Federal Environmental Agency, together with advanced manufacturing technologies, has led Elon to forecast that Tesla could hit an annual production of over 5 million units for the $25,000 EV, including a specialized robotaxi model. So, what features and innovations can be anticipated with a Model 2? The Tesla Model 2 is projected to be more compact than the version of the Model Y, with a price ranging from $22,000 to $25,000 before subsidies. However, due to global supply chain issues and inflation within the automotive sector, the price could go up to around $30,000 to $35,000. Despite these potential increases, the adjusted price might still be eligible for the federal tax credit, so bringing the effective cost for consumers close to 25 grand. The Model 2 is expected to offer a balance between performance and affordability, with a 0 to 60 acceleration that could be around 5 to 7 seconds slower compared to other Tesla models. The vehicle may feature more basic specs, possibly with a lower quality suspension and design similar to Model 3 or Y, but in a smaller format, and that could include a hatchback sedan or compact car with fewer features and interior options. 
there are rumors that the Model 2 might be associated with Tesla's RoboTaxi initiative, potentially lacking a steering wheel or pedals. It's anticipated to be equipped with a 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery, giving a range of approximately 350 to 200 miles, competing with models like the Renault or Volkswagen ID2. Tesla could leverage advanced technologies such as 48 low voltage architecture to reduce weight and enhance flexibility, alongside employing giga casting to streamline the production. These innovations are expected to lower weight and improve both efficiency and safety. With Tesla's average vehicle price currently around $45,000 and other EVs such as BYD priced at around $27,000, the Model 2 aims to be a strategic option for affordable EVs in markets like India and China competing with models like the Chevy Bolt, Nissan Leaf, and Hyundai Electric. How does Tesla view the importance of robotaxi for the company? Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed several key details about the robotaxi in the second quarter update letter in the company's earning call. These details include the production location of the robotaxi as well as the manufacturing process that will be used for the vehicle. It's fair to say that the robotaxi launch event on October 10, 2024 is considered Tesla's biggest event of the year. Given Elon's notable focus on FSD, it's not surprising that several questions in that second quarter earnings call focused on robotaxi. According to Tesla's second quarter update letter, the production plans for new vehicles, including more affordable models, are still on track to begin production in the first half of next year. These vehicles will utilize aspects of the company's next generation and current platform, and they may be produced on the same production line as the company's existing models. However, for RoboTaxi, Tesla has made it clear. Our dedicated RoboTaxi product will continue to produce revolutionary unboxing production strategy. Tesla wrote in their second quarter update letter. Elon stated in the second quarter earnings call that the delay of RoboTaxi's launch to October 10th is due to several significant changes he's requested for the vehicle. However, Elon noted that they will also unveil a few other things at this event. When asked about Tesla's production plans, Elon confirmed that the RoboTaxi is going to be made at Giga Texas. We are significantly increasing capacity at our existing factories, and all I have to say is the CyberTaxi or RoboTaxi will be made locally at our headquarters in Giga Texas, Musk said. The RoboTaxi is designed to be a vehicle that can be used for ride-hailing services, so therefore it depends on the success of Tesla's full self-driving. Musk remains quite optimistic about Tesla's FSD program, having made considerable progress with full self-driving in second quarter and with version 12.5 getting ready to roll out, we believe customers will experience a breakthrough improvement in the performance of fully supervised self-driving vehicles. Elon emphasizes the importance of RoboTaxi and views it as the future of EVs, given that Tesla has been developing its self-driving platform for many years and has hinted almost annually since 2016 that they are capable of developing a fully autonomous vehicle. This has yet to materialize. However, with the new version of FSD, the development momentum is significantly stronger compared to previous years, making the company more confident that it will achieve full automation before other companies. Analysts don't believe that Tesla's delay will have a significant impact on the company's stock or long-term prospects. We assess that while the instinctive reaction might be negative regarding the August 8th delay based on the recent report, we believe that the timing of robotaxi, partnerships in autonomous and AI technology ultimately does not alter our optimistic view of Tesla. To some extent, this two-month delay might actually make the RoboTaxi event and prototypes even better for Tesla, as Musk and his team know that this opens the key to Tesla's long-term future story, and investors are looking for more details, not fewer, at this historic event. Additionally, Tesla has set a goal to ensure that the van will have the lowest cost per mile. What factors contribute to this? One of the key factors enabling the robo-taxi to achieve the lowest cost per mile is the elimination of driver costs. In traditional taxis, labor costs account for about 60% of your total operating costs. The absence of a driver in robo-taxi can significantly cut these costs. Furthermore, the robo-taxi's autonomous driving system optimizes routing, reducing travel time and fuel consumption. An Intel study estimates that routing optimization can cut fuel costs by up to 30%, contributing to overall cost reduction. The RoboTaxi will also be equipped with advanced technologies like the latest lithium-ion batteries and high-performance engines. According to Tesla, the new 4680 battery can improve performance and reduce electric vehicle production costs by up to 14% compared to previous battery technologies. On top of that, robotaxis give you the highest degree of automation, reducing wear and maintenance compared to manually driven vehicles. 
Minimizing maintenance and repairs leads to big cost savings, lowering the per-mile operating costs. Large-scale production of robo-taxis play a big role in cost reduction. Mass production helps cut the cost per unit. According to a Bloomberg report, large-scale EV productions can reduce manufacturing costs by up to 20% compared to small-scale production. Moreover, robo-taxis can optimize resource usage such as electricity and parking space. A University of California study indicates that autonomous vehicle usage can reduce parking demand and optimize energy use, thereby cutting operating costs. The combination of eliminating driver costs, optimizing routing, and utilizing advanced technology plus large-scale production allows RoboTaxi to achieve the lowest cost per mile. These factors not only reduce operating expenses, but also make the RoboTaxi an efficient and economical option for the future. What are Tesla's detailed development plans for the van? The production plan for the Tesla van has been in the works for some time and has been mentioned by Elon Musk. However, when exactly it'll be launched and what are the specific plans for this vehicle? Well, let's get into those details. The 2025 Tesla truck is set to revolutionize the EV market with its superior performance. Utilizing the Cybertruck platform, it promises unparalleled efficiency. Jeremy Johnson from Torp News expects that the Tesla truck will leverage the Cybertruck platform, integrating Tesla's 48-volt architecture and other advanced technologies. Features such as the 4680 battery structure are expected to provide a range of approximately 500 miles on just a single charge, with an impressive efficiency of 2 to 2.2 miles a kilowatt hour. The Tesla truck outperforms its electric competitors like the Rivian EDV and the Mercedes-Benz eSpringer which typically offers a range of 150 to 200 miles. This extended range requires larger batteries, presenting challenges in battery supply. Industry estimates suggest that the Tesla truck could use a battery size similar to that of the Cybertruck, with capacities of up to 200 kilowatt hours for the top model and 100 kilowatt hours for the base one. It is likely that the Tesla truck will be powered by high nickel 100 kilowatt hour cells, utilizing advanced battery technology suitable for those long trips. The high nickel manganese cathode of the truck enhances range and energy density while reducing reliance on unsustainable cobalt materials. Tesla aims to reaffirm its dominance with a remarkable acceleration of just 4.6 to 7.5 seconds from 0 to 60 miles an hour, delivering an accelerating and agile driving experience ideal for urban environments. With an energy consumption of 28 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, the cost amounts to approximately $448 the Tesla truck demonstrates impressive efficiency. Elon's focus on the development of robo-taxis is evident through the integration of Tesla vans with FSD capabilities. Musk recently announced the full self-driving version 12, offering Tesla owners a free trial period in the third month. The pricing, production plans, and market entry potential for the 2025 Tesla truck are set to revolutionize the industry with a sales target of 10 million units. Tesla's ambitious plans include speculation that some models might get made at Tesla's Gigafactory in Mexico, providing a strategic manufacturing advantage. While Tesla vans are designed to meet both passenger and commercial transportation needs, combining flexibility with efficiency, the estimated price for the Tesla truck hovers around 40 grand. However, experts suggest that the truck's price could exceed the initial price of the Cybertruck, which was originally targeted at $39,990, but later sought significant adjustments. According to Jeremy Johnson, the price of the Cybertruck has increased considerably, and he believes the truck's price could be even higher. If Tesla can achieve an annual production rate of 100,000 trucks in the U.S., it would mark a major milestone in the automotive industry, considering that approximately 380,000 commercial trucks get sold every year. According to online sources, Johnson has studied the potential transformative impact of Tesla entering the market. However, established competitors like the Ford Transit, starting at $40,000, pose a significant pricing challenge. The estimated price for Tesla's truck is around $50,000, necessitating a competitive pricing strategy to attract customers. Additionally, the extensive service network of competitors offers greater convenience for maintenance and repairs, compelling Tesla to expand its own service network to meet the increasing demand of its customers. So, with Tesla's plans, which location is the most suitable for manufacturing this vehicle? According to our analysis, Giga Texas, one of Tesla's most advanced manufacturing facilities, is the ideal choice for producing the Tesla van based on its production capacity and several factors. Giga Texas boasts a vast area and is designed to produce up to 500,000 vehicles annually. That's equivalent to 41,600 vehicles per month. 
Manufacturing the Tesla van here would fully utilize this enormous production capacity. Moreover, with the installation of GigaPress, which has a clamping force of up to 9,000 tons, the factory can reduce the number of components in a vehicle from 370 to 170, lowering production body costs by about 30%. This means that Giga Texas is not only capable of large-scale production, but also optimizing production costs. Giga Texas is Tesla's first factory equipped with a GigaPress system, which reduces production time by 10 to 15 percent. With this technology, the Tesla van will be produced faster and more cost-effectively, enhancing its market competitiveness. The automation processes at Giga Texas will also help minimize production errors, ensuring high quality for the final product. Of course, if it's produced at this factory, Tesla would benefit from Texas's incentive policies, including a $65 million incentive package that reduces property taxes and offers investment tax exemptions. Additionally, manufacturing the Tesla van in the States allows Tesla to take advantage of federal tax credits of up to $7,500 per electric vehicle, contributing to lower production costs and sale prices for customers. Well, we hope you will experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. And if you do, we humbly ask that you click that like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon and you'll stay tuned for our daily fantastic videos that we produce for you. Your feedback in the comments and your time spent watching these videos is very much appreciated. Thank you again for watching and we hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.